Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Rusty Nelson and welcome. I'm down here in the Villages, Florida and today we are talking about soon to be most likely Hurricane Debbie. Right now it is a tropical storm, but as we'll see here, I fully believe that this will be Cat 1 probably and uh, we'll talk a little bit about that. The whole idea behind this is not highly technical. I want to keep it simple, but I know there's a lot of people that are new to Florida or and, and they kind of just don't understand what's going on. So I want to kind of tell them a little bit now, where do I come from? I guided people tornado chasing, storm chasing, just like the movie Twister. I went to go see it yesterday. Perfect timing, I guess. Uh, spoiler alert, it is a fun ride and a little bit of a love story. It's a typical Hollywood movie, but eh, it's fun. And um, I, I I want to explain to people a little bit what's going on because I'm sure your alerts, if you have apps on your phone, are going off and they're saying tornado and you may not understand what's going on with that. So this isn't a highly technical, although we're going to run through a little bit of a forecast for this um, technical thing. We're going to brush through this really quick. I do want to say that uh, if you look behind me, you'll see right there somewhere there's cameras set up and stuff like that. I was testing my equipment so that if I want to, I can go broadcast out of my car. I can kind of show you things as they're going on. And if there's something to see out there, I'll try to get out. Warning, um, I have a new car. It's not really wired the way my old truck was when I was storm chasing. So I'm not 100% sure. But I can't, can tell you one thing. You will have to be subscribed um, you don't have to do anything but subscribe, be subscribed, and make sure you tap all on there so that you get notified if I'm live, because if it's live and you don't get notified, doesn't make any difference, does it? So, And I may go out if there's something tomorrow to look at, uh, although I'm leaving town in the afternoon, uh, I may go out and do something live or cover that also. So thanks a lot for subscribing. Please like, it helps out a lot. Your comments help out uh, down below. If you have something to add to this, please do. So let's get into this really, uh, like I said, not high tech, real basic. Let's look at the cone, as I, I call it, the cone of confusion. And this is something that's put out by the National Weather Service, and it gives you an idea of where the storm is going to go. Now, a lot of people think that this is the storm and where it's going to have an effect on us. I can tell you that's not true at all. Let me explain. This is where these lines right here are where indicate where they think the storm may go. All right? This right here, this line, is the mean of all those. And you're going to see it gets really big up here. And the reason for that is they're not 100% sure. And I'll tell you right now, this is a, a, a very different storm. And when it gets up into this area right here, there's a lot of confusion because of what's called steering currents. And that's about all I get involved in this. But there's things like a big... There's a big high up in this area, and there's uh, the jet stream is up in this area. So all those things affect where the storm is going to go. And unfortunately, because the storm never got strong, and it's about noon right now while I'm recording this, this storm is getting stronger and stronger all the time. And as you'll see, they forecast it to get up to 75 miles an hour, which puts it into a Cat 1 right there. And just before landfall, you'll probably see that is it, is it strongest because if you look at this uh, pink color right here, this is water temperature. And the warmer the water temperature is, and this is in the upper 80s, the, warm, the more powerful the storm can become. And this is one of those storms that is just ramping up right now while I'm doing this video. And we're going to take a little bit of a look at this. That's what I want to tell you out of this. Now, something to learn about storms. Um, like I said, this will be a little choppy right now, but we'll, we'll try to get this. Uh, we'll come up here like this. As hurricanes travel, you'll hear me refer to something as the dirty side. And what does that mean? If this storm right here, as you can see, would be going in this direction, 
And when it's going in that direction, we can divide this up into quadrants. So you have the northwest side, you have the northeast side. This side right here, the northeast side, is what's considered the dirty side. In other words, that's where the strongest storms are going to be. You'll see those big thunderstorms that roll through. And excuse me, with those, with those can come tornadoes. And we'll explain that in a second. And I'll show you on the actual software I use when I'm storm chasing. So now you know that that's the dirty side of the, oops, um, losing myself right here. That's the dirty side of a hurricane. With that said, as it passes over land, it will start to deteriorate. It just doesn't have the same energy and things to feed off of, right? So we understand that part. Now, let's take a look at forecasts. So this is a type of forecast uh, program that I use. And let me see how updated this is right now. Uh, not quite, let's go stay here. And as I pass through this, you can see the storm starts to form and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And you start to see these, I call them tentacles, but they're arms or some people call them trains. But you can see as you move this, those arms stay in motion. And if we draw right where the villages is, you can take a look, this is Florida. There is the villages. So as we move this, you can see the villages is right in that northeast quadrant. And then as it starts to turn and go in this direction, We are still in that northeast quadrant. So for the villages, we could be sitting in the northeast quadrant a while for this one. Thus, the rain. <laughs> Bummer for the villages. But with that said, as far as the hurricane goes, that's probably the most that we're going to get. Now, the other thing is, if you look at these storms right here, these trains, right? just right here, like I said. You see these storms here, 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 and as you get closer, here, 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 like that. Those storms are what produce tornadoes, and that's what gives you the, the reason why they say you have a tornado watch or a tornado warning. Take a look at this, and this is from the National Weather Service, tornado watch versus tornado warning. So in a watch, it says, be prepared, a tornado is possible. That means conditions are starting to exist that are out there that a tornado could form. Check forecast updates, so your app and that type of thing. Monitor sky conditions. Know where to take shelter if you need to. A warning Take action, the tornado is imminent. Now, I will tell you from past experience, you can have a warning, you can be in a warning area. It's not always that you're gonna have a tornado. I, I can just say that. Now, like I said, don't listen to me. That's my disclaimer. I am not a professional at this. It's for, think of me as a hobby person. You always need to check with your governmental services about what is going on Use the apps to get your notices. I did put, and I'll put another down there if somebody wants to buy weather radios. I had suggestions on the other ones you can get through Amazon for the future. And seek further information, definitely, and check for forecasts. Well, with all that said, and I'll show you in a second, we are in uh, a watch and warning area, but what you will get out in front of these storms now, this is something I'm not going to get technical here, but I'm just going to show you. These are called soundings, and these are things that uh, I use when I'm out chasing to further kind of look into the atmosphere. And if you look right here, possible hazard type. Now, 
I'm going to say this as loud as I can. You have to be able to look at this whole chart and understand exactly what the hazards are. And only thing I'm trying to show with this is the ha- the, the program is telling you that there is a possibility of a tornado, in other words, and they're usually centered around these arms and the storm. So anyway, now you kind of know that difference between a watch and a warning and that type of thing. Now, let's jump over to the actual program that I use while I'm chasing. I'm going to draw on here one more time. This is us, I know, because this little X right here is me. Just to give you a for instance, I know exactly where I am on here. And I'm going to increase the size of this. So I'm just going to go to uh, the screen itself. And if you look at this, here's these arms. Okay. And these purple boxes that you can see right here, I'll actually draw right over it so you can see it. This is one of these storms moving in this direction. And if you come back here and you take a look at what we were looking at before, watch warning, right? The watch is this huge box that's right out here. And it says tornado watch. So this is conditions exist that are favorable to tornado formation. He says thunderstorms are expected to increase in coverage and intensify within the outer bands of the tropical storm Debbie this afternoon. Uh, As wind fields strengthen, which is what's going to happen with us uh, because of As time goes on, the actual storm, probably a hurricane maybe by the time you see this, is over water. So that's what happens there. Go back and take a look at this for a second. Strengthens potentials will exist for a few tornadoes in the stronger cells. So when you have these larger cells come over, as in this right here, you have the potential for pop-up, I'll call them pop-up, Pop-up tornadoes, right? Now, here's the thing. Let me explain something about these. They are usually, I say usually, weak. They happen very quickly. There's no way to really go, okay, we're going to have a tornado right now. You just don't know. Um, That's the two things. They're usually like almost a zero to a one, and as far as tornadoes go, the EF scales. And they usually don't do a ton of damage. I'm gonna go over to a different, where I can extend out a little bit longer. And I wanna show you, this is what kind of bothers me a little bit, is that as this moves up, you can see these bands, they go right over the villages, and see how it stalls? I'm moving along, and it's still just sitting there. It's not go. It's not. It's not going anywhere. And that kind of spells. This is us right there. And as I move this along, we kind of sit there, and we're still getting kind of pummeled by these bands of storms. That's it. That's about all I, I really wanted to say to kind of give you an idea of what's going on with this storm right now. Like I said, if this gets stalled out, keep an eye on the on the on the weather channels. Check it out. If there's something big coming along, I will. I'm leaving town tomorrow night, um, but tonight I will probably be up most of the night watching this, checking out what's going on. And if need be, I'll go live. If we need another update to this, I will. Thank you so much for subscribing. Don't forget to hit the all when you subscribe. And uh, you can also let your friends know by copying the link. And you can paste that on your different sites on Facebook. I just won't have time to do it if I go live because I'll probably jump in the car and go. Anyway, thanks a lot for joining me. I really appreciate it. And I will see you either down here in the villages 
or I'll see you live back here on YouTube. Thanks a lot for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Or I guess, I guess as best as you can under these circumstances. I will say for those people that are the beginning hurricane, as, as, as they get to know hurricanes, this is a watery one, most likely. Um, but it's it's pretty typical.